Hey guys, you're watching, you want to know me? My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Stadium. And today, it is deadly hot. I've got this morning off, so I'm going to try and record like maybe this week's videos today, which is going to be a real struggle because it's already like 26 or 28 degrees Celsius outside. So I am going to be getting redder and redder throughout this video. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. I have got rid of our ice hockey pitch arena. Uh, ice hockey court. I don't know what it is. Ice hockey court or ice hockey pitch? Ice hockey rink. That's the one. And I've replaced it with the blank. Don't worry, I did save the ice hockey one. Uh, but we're going to start on the basketball one today. Now, I done. A go I googled a comparison of different pitches. And it was a really good picture. I think I mentioned it when I started the ice hockey one. I'll try and put a picture up if I remember, but I doubt I will. Uh, but uh, obviously, you've got American football, which is big. You've got the uh, soccer stadium, which is a little bit smaller than that. Uh, you've got ice hockey, which was the size that we done last episode. And then a real basketball pitch, basketball court, that's the one. A real basketball court is only about a third of the size of an ice hockey rink. Which puts us in a little bit of a tricky situation because we already had last time with the ice hockey rink, we managed to make it look a little bit bigger than it actually was by putting a path around the side, which sort of made it look a little bit larger. But with basketball, it's a little bit tougher. So I was thinking maybe we put it this way, you know, in line with these, these shadow lines of these, yeah? So we have the pitch going that way instead of that way. But that leaves a load of space on the left and right. So I thought, what well, about if we then do two? We have one here and one here. And I was like, no, that don't make any sense either, having two. Why would you want two basketball uh, courts? So I think we are going to go with the one facing in this direction. But what we'll probably do is we'll make our own temporary miniature stands seating on the left and the right side. That'll use up at least some of this space here and here, while also giving the viewers a closer look at the pitch. They don't have to sit in these seats when the basketball is going on. So yeah, that's the idea. Also, we want it to be wood. Now, fortunately, I only I only have one wood texture left. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got three. I've got spruce, full blocks. Uh, yeah, I've got oak, spruce, dark oak, and birch. But it's actually black wool because I switched the textures around on them, didn't I? But I think birch wood texture is perfect for that sort of basketball court vinyl look and obviously our color scheme here is red and white so we're going to go with some red clay for the colors because all basketball courts are very much personalized to the team that they're around now i've never built one before so this is going to be a little bit tricky for me i'm going to grab this snow and i'm just going to put in this as the middle point for the minute okay we're going to do a circle around this now it's, it's not very big the center circle for a basketball pitch uh, ba <laughs> basketball pitch basketball court so i'm going to do this for a circle to begin with if this is too small we'll make it bigger if it's too big i'll make it smaller was that the right way around i think that was the right way around i can now get rid of these because i know that's now the middle and we have a line that goes all the way through the middle here and oh wrong way wrong way don't do that again we're doing it this way. Yeah. So it comes all the way down. Really not that big. I'm going to go to one wider than the shadow here. I think that's going to be about right. Because you've got to remember, it's, it's going to be the same on this side. Hopefully, the show, this is where we're going to find out if the shadow's actually in the right place. I think they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Shows that so far... Our building's been pretty good. <laughs> okay, that's probably... That's probably a little bit too wide. Oh, I don't know. It might be a little bit too wide. I'm going to take one away from each side. So we'll go in the middle of the shadow. I think that feels probably a little bit more realistic. I didn't realise, because we don't really have, here in the UK, we don't really have basketball. It, it basically just doesn't exist. Um, pretty much. Uh, it, it, you can get it on some of the um, TV channels, but the TV channels are like ESPN, which are sort of the American sports channels. It's not sort of broadcast. We don't really have any teams, not that I know of, not any big, big teams, at least. Uh, so I really have no idea on sizes and scales or, or anything. So if I get it 
badly wrong. Badly wrong. Just let me know, okay? Let me know and I'll do my best to fix it. But, oops. Uh, but to be honest with you, I think we're going to get it close enough to resemble basketball. Um, I'm not really much of a sports fan at all. Um, as you guys have probably guessed. <laughs> so I don't really know too much about most sports. Snooker. I play a lot of snooker. But that is about as far as my sports go. And I, it's not really a sport, is it? That seems to be about right, though. If we made the corner here. And we go up there. There's no corner flags that I need to worry about. Down here. So this is that sort of uh, three-point line. There we go. See, I know some terminology. That's about all the terminology I know. In fact, the only basketball... This is going to make you laugh. The only basketball that I've watched isn't real. The only basketball I've ever watched was a couple of years ago when one of my favourite uh, YouTubers called B00 uh, done a series on... Do I want to go there or there? I'll go here. Done a series on uh, NBA 2K. It was either 16 or 15. That's how long ago it was. I think it might have been... It must have been 15. Because we... Yeah, it must have been 15. And he done a, a series on that. And I tell you what, I really, really enjoyed that. I, I just enjoyed watching him. Uh, he wasn't like the, the total best best at the game um you know i i could pick that up but he was pretty good he was pretty good he won a lot of games um but i used to sit down and i used to have a sausage roll i used to have a sausage roll while watching him and uh, yeah it was great it was real great fun i'm trying to get a circle in here but it's really not easy to fit in yeah no that works that works really well and then i don't know i is that the that's not the the the, the three the free throw line, is it? Not that close. It's got to be on this one, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got to be. All right. You know what? I'm actually quite happy with that. As far as markings go, that's about it on a basketball court. We can color it how we want. We can do pretty much anything we like on the pitch. But the white markings, that's going to... Oh, hiccups. That's going to be about right. So if I just nab this for the minute, we'll get a, a good idea on size. Copy, flip, north, and paste. Oh, there's the other side. Whoops. Copy, flip, north, paste. That's better. <laughs> now we've only got one center line. Ooh, hit the camera. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking good. We're looking pretty good here. Let's try and design it a little bit more so let's start off by just making all of the grass on the pitch into the uh, birchwood slash black wool so we're going to do replace grass with wool black yes oh that looks fantastic and now what i want to do is i want to incorporate a little bit of the red into it so here i'm gonna i'm gonna probably do this in a in a fast way there to there replace will what, what number is this 15914 replace will black with 15914 all right all right now we're looking pretty pro there to there oh the red and the birch so good so good and we'll do the center here as well now, we can leave it there, and you know what? I would be happy leaving it there. But you know what I think I think could look pretty cool? You know how, like, the Dodge Viper, the car, has the stripes up the middle, or the Ford Mustang, or Shelby Mustang. You know, the cars have the racing stripe, Nissan Skyline. I was thinking about having a red stripe about three blocks thick. That goes from here, and now I can cheat, I can, or now I can use my... Uh, my thingy from there to there isn't it one two three that's four undo from there it's this one two three uh, no not undo redo there we go and then we'll 
just put these down here. I just think it could be a really nice touch. It also fills up a little bit of sort of blank space. I don't want to go into the zone, so I think it's nice just to have them on the outside. Well, I don't know. Maybe that would look good going through here as well. Okay, yeah, maybe it does. No, you know what? Undo. Undo. Und Oops. Redo. Redo. I think I might like it birch. I think I might just like it like that. I think that other red was too much. Just an idea that I had, I thought in my head. And uh, it's always a good idea to, to try them out. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. I wasn't happy with it. Maybe you guys liked it, but uh, but I didn't. Okay, I like that though. That's pretty good. Around the outside of the pitch, I think I want another color, but it's just slightly darker. Maybe another clay. Either this white stained clay or this light gray stained clay. Just a little bit of a darker color to go around here. So let's do the next three. So we, let's go three blocks wider around here with that clay block. So one, two, three. 159.8. Replace grass with 159.8. Superb. That gives us... That. One, two, three, four. I thought that didn't look right. Uh, okay, I might go with the four then. The four might look a little bit better. Let's just go over here. Let's expand that a little tiny bit. There we go. So we've got four blocks around each side now. Again, see how that just makes everything fills the space of, the, of this uh, oval a little bit more? I think that's pretty good. Let's have a go at the baskets, though. So, obviously, I think cobblestone wool is our first step. Um, we're going to need... It's really hard to do a net. We might have to do the old cobweb and trapdoor design. Like a trapdoor like this. Or, you know, a tra this trapdoor would be okay because the iron trap doors they're good but this one has a little bit of a white part in the middle and that white part might look like a hole might so if i just put that there and that there for the minute oops oh i need a block there do i oh yeah i'm in 1.7 aren't i now that looks like a pretty good height it actually looks a little small don't you think Maybe it's the backboard that's making it look like that. All right, so let's grab... We might as well use this white. Uh, we'll have a red one in the middle. I'll put some white, and then we'll put that back. That looks to be about the right height. We can't actually throw it that high in Minecraft. But that looks... Well, I don't know. Hang on. Maybe that is a little bit tall. I mean, in Minecraft, your character is two meters tall. How high is two meters in feet? I don't know. I work in feet here in the UK. And they're higher than a seven foot guy. I think that's probably too high. Let's try it down here. Let's like really shrink it, really shrink it up a little bit. And then put that one in and that one in. See, that looks ridiculously short, doesn't it? But that's actually more like it. That's actually more like it. I think I can actually throw something in there now. I might be able to. He dribbles. He comes up. He throws. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty close. Maybe I could if I was actually good at the game. Yeah, that, that, that would have gone in. That would have that gone around the rim. And that would have gone in. Yeah, I think any taller and it would look weird in comparison to the player. So, we get another one in here. One, two, three. Was it four? It looks like four. It looks like four blocks tall. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. So, we get that one in here. Now, we need... One, two, three, four. We need the benches for the players and the coaches. And... What else does basketball like a professional one have apart from seats seats the benches scoreboard i mean we could use that one but i could make 
I could, we might make enough. I don't know, we could use that scoreboard. It's a pretty nice scoreboard to have for it. Yeah, I don't know. Now, do the teams share a bench on there, like one team there and one team there? Or is it one team on this side and one team on that side? I've got a feeling they're both on the same side, aren't they? I'm going to do it on this side. All right, so for our benches here, we're going to use upside down stairs. Uh, probably spruce, I think, dark oak, maybe a little bit too dark. And uh, I want them to be that way round. That looks like a pretty decent amount away from the court. And I want it to be from about here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six white blocks in from the end. One, two, three, four, five, six white blocks in from the end. And then lengthwise, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks. It's a nice sort of decent, you know, long bench for them to sit on. And then behind that, I want to have the actual like stand start and the stand start pretty close and this is uh, pretty close behind the main players so maybe a one or two thick line around here again to change up the colors a little bit and to transition into the seats so let's go with the lighter clay than what we have at the moment let's go two blocks and i could do this because i can just replace grass so it makes things uh, a lot quicker for me from here to here Clay. I was thinking this one, 159. Replace grass with 159. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from there, the stands will then start. Hold on, I'm gonna just like Google a stay uh, a basketball stadium, the inside of it, just so I can see if there's anything like else important that I'm missing. Okay, I'll be back. The answer is no. Uh, I've got a picture up here. It's even got red on it on the pitch and there's nothing there. There is some advertising boards though that go behind the players, which oops, which I think would be actually really nice if we can get some sort of just some different colors. So let's just go with clay and let's go with pink, orange, red, yellow, green, blue-ish. I don't really class it as blue and that one and why not brown. Because brown doesn't want to be on. That's why not. And brown. And what we're going to do is we're going to run around the edging. I think leaving this two blocks. Just so we've got a little bit of gap here. And let's do them every seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven. I'll be back. Too colourful. That's uh, all I can say. It looks like Joseph's Technicolor Dream Coat or whatever it is. So we're going to take away some of the colors. Let's first take away the yellow. So yellow is 159.4. Replace 159.4 with snow blocks. So I get rid of the yellow. We'll do the same with the green, which is 5. We'll do the same with the pink. Which is two. Oops. No, two. Not four. Two. And I'm going to replace the blue with red. So the blue is three. With red, which is 159.14. And I might do the... I, I like the brown. Um, I'll do the grey as well. 159.9. Okay, there we go. The orange is just sort of a colour that just sort of breaks up a little bit. But the red, white, brown and orange, I think, looks a little bit better, don't you? Than having an absolute Technicolor mash of things. I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm very, very happy. I am also going to do a drop-down uh, scoreboard for this. I think it will look a lot better than instead of using that one. I'll do one of those four-sided ones. Similar to how we've done with the monster truck one. 
but I think a little bit smaller. But that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. I know this episode's a little bit shorter than normal, but I did say at the beginning of the video that it is very, very hot today, and I can feel the sweat on my forehead uh, dripping down into my eyeballs. It's absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to go and have a shower, and uh, yeah, maybe get on with some more videos. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.